Yo, what's up everyone? Nick Smith is back with another video. Today, this is a new series I want to start on this channel. Uh, it's going to be a weekly series. Every week, I want to go and look at the trade rumors and the trades that have been happening because pretty much over the next couple of months, we're going to see quite a few trades. And obviously, some trades, they're going to have their own separate video like... I don't know, if Paul Millsap gets traded, or DeMarcus Cousins, or like a big star gets traded, or like a big player. We're going to make a video on that separately, but every week, there's always going to be some new trade rumors and new players on the trade block, so I want to, you know, just share my thoughts, and I want to get your thoughts down below in the comment section, so if you guys like this type of video and this type of series, then drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, but let's get into it. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's a weekly thing. I share my thoughts, but then you give me some of your thoughts down below in the comment section, that type of thing. Because then we can have actually like discussions about, um, you know, different trades and things like that. But the first trade, this is actually real. This happened one hour ago. Cleveland just got Carl Korver. That is amazing. Like, uh, I can go into the storyline real quick. I can show you guys. But from my knowledge, it was like a first round pick for 20, uh, 2019 protected first round pick and Mike Dunleavy. For Carl Korver. Do you know how good that is for Cleveland? That's another three-point shooter. LeBron can just kick two in the corner. Oh, I, I mean, that's all Cleveland needs. Shooters, LeBron, Tristan Thompson. I mean, that's all you that's all you need to win a championship now. Um, if you're Cleveland, that is. But uh, Carl Korver. That is a great, great like guy to get for Cleveland. Um, and I think this is a really, really good trade, especially because they didn't really use Mike Dunleavy that well. He's sort of similar to Kyle Korver, but I think, in my opinion, Kyle Korver's a little bit better. Um, and Cleveland is always finding ways just to get players on their team. Now, Atlanta, on the other hand, since they've given up Kyle Korver, they're, um, they're looking like they might be giving up their whole team, really. They might be giving up Paul Millsap. Uh, I mean, they got Dwight Howard, but... I mean, I guess they have Dennis Schroeder and Dwight Howard, and I don't. And Paul Millsap, he's going to free agency next, no, this season, I think. So, like the end of this season. So, I'm just saying, man. I don't know what Atlanta's doing, but they might be in a bit of trouble. Uh, like, like I said, Mike Dunleavy got traded. Paul Millsap, Toronto, Denver, Sacramento, Philadelphia. They've all, you know, shared interest in Millsap. If if I'm going after Millsap, right? I think I gotta be a contending team. I don't think I wanna be like Denver or Sacramento or Philadelphia. Yeah, it'd be cool to get Millsap if you're one of those teams, but I think for a team like Toronto, if they can get Millsap, I think if you're Toronto, you would be willing to give up, uh, first of all, you can give up Norman Powell or Terrence Ross, one of those two guys, because they're pretty similar. And Terrence Ross is 25, Norman Powell's 23, but when you look at the contracts, there's a big difference. So if I was Toronto, I probably want to get rid of Terrence Ross. And, you know, Terrence Ross is not a bad player. There was one game last year, he dropped 50 points or something, 51 points. So he's a decent player. And then you also try and give up maybe um, either the either one of the two rookies. Uh, Potel, I don't even know how you say his name, my bad, and Sikkim. But um, one of those two guys, probably I would get rid of. Um, because when you think about it, they have Salinger, they have Valentunas, they have Patrick Patterson. They can afford to get rid of one of the two, like, rookies. Plus, they're going to get Millsap anyway. And that, that can turn them into a real title contender in the East. So that would be, that wouldn't actually be that bad. So, that's, that's something for Millsap. Um, any other news? The Bulls shopping Jimmy Butler. Listen, I don't know about you, but... Every time I hear Jimmy Butler rumors now, I just don't even go into it because this dude, Jimmy Butler, yeah, he's a star player, but he's not getting traded from Chicago, all right? Maybe a couple maybe a couple months ago, uh, back in, you know, last season, but since they've got Wade, I don't know. Let's let's read into the article, but I doubt I doubt they're going to give rid of Jimmy Butler. Let me know down below. What do you think? The Bulls going to going to shop Jimmy Butler? I don't think they will. I mean, there's no reason for them to shop, shop Jimmy Butler. I mean, why would you? Why? Like, like even for Chicago, it doesn't really make sense. I didn't even say anything right there. Even for Chicago, it doesn't even really make sense. Just because they can still make the playoffs. Yeah, they're probably not going to win a title. But who's, who really in the East is going to win a title? You've got Cleveland, 
maybe Toronto, and if they can get Millsap, then yeah, they got Toronto, and maybe the Celtics, and that's real. That's a maybe. Like the Celtics, they're like, I don't know what to think about the Celtics. When Isaiah's hot, he, you know, that's something I do. I want to make a video on Isaiah Thomas. Uh, in fact, I have, I actually have a title right here. I want to make it uh, from the 60th overall pick to a star, because I think Isaiah Thomas, I think he, he is a star, man. I think he's a really good player, and he's like small as hell, so that's pretty crazy. Anyway, Hayward, I heard a while ago that uh, he was in trade talks, and I thought he was actually going to get traded during the offseason. Never happened, um, and when you actually go to the standings, the, the Utah Jazz, um, they're... They're really good. Like they're, I think they're fourth, third. No, they're fifth now. But they're 22 and 15. That's that's all right. These guys, the Houston Rockets, they're just so good. I don't get it. Mike D'Antoni's style really works with this team. I mean, when when they first came together, Eric Gordon and they just got a close win against the Thunder as well. Pretty close game if you didn't watch it. Um, when they came together as the three-point shooting team with Gordon and and Harden and. Ryan Anderson, you know, Trevor Reza, they, they can all shoot, right? I didn't, like, I didn't, I thought it was going to be a good team. Maybe they'll just make the playoffs, but this team's killing it. Shout out to James Harden. He's looking like an MVP at the moment. I think right now he is the MVP of the league, arguable, but he's, he's killing it, man. Um, do I think Hayward will get, will get traded? Probably not. I mean, I don't see the, I don't see the Jazz wanting to trade Hayward. Considering you know they're fifth in the uh, or what was it fifth or sixth in the West, um, if I was the Celtics though, and the and also the Jazz are contending, um, but if I'm the Celtics, yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna push hard to get a star player like Hayward. I I don't know if Hayward's a star, but you know one of those type of players, um, I think it'd be a nice fit, but I don't think they'll get him. Anyway, let's keep going. Andrew Bogut. Shout out to Australia. He already said that he doesn't want to come back to the Mavs uh, next season, but he also thinks that he will. He doesn't want to be traded, so that's weird. Yeah, Cavs eyeing Rondo. That's that's interesting as well. Uh, in fact, let me get my phone out real quick. I saw this. I saw this, and I was like, you know what? They they look pretty good in uh, in the Cleveland jersey. Rondo. He. Uh, the thing about Rondo is it's obviously his personality that doesn't work well with teams because. The Bulls, you know, he's a good player, right? Rondo, we can all agree he's a decent player. Decent to good player. He used to be a really good point guard, a great facilitator in Boston. Since then, kind of slowed down, but he's still 7.7 7 assists at 30 years old, plus 6.5 rebounds. That's not bad. That's not bad. Occasionally, he can get you a triple-double. It's obviously his personality that doesn't work well, but you put him on Cleveland... I think personality cancels out because you got LeBron. You know LeBron is he's the guy. You don't mess with LeBron, all right? Rondo and LeBron, I think they could work well together in saying that he's obviously going to come off the bench, but he's a great backup point guard if Kyrie is injured or Kyrie can't play. You got Rondo there? Come on, man. That's, that's nice. Uh, the only problem is he, he already signed a two-year, $27 million deal, so... I don't know how it's going to work in terms of cat space. That's why they're probably also looking at Mario Chalmers. LeBron and Mario Chalmers, close friends, make sense. He also hasn't played the last season, so I don't know. But one of those two, I think you can expect to be on the team. Uh, Jay Crowder, yeah, he, he loves both. I was about to say, that's not a trade rumor because Jay Crowder's not getting traded. He's a good piece to, uh, to Boston. Um... Any other things? These are all like really recent as well, 12 hours ago. So I think it's going to be really, really fun um, doing this series every week. So let me know down below if you like me doing this series. Um, it's, sort of, it's sort of cool in my opinion, but it's also up to you. If you guys don't want to see this series, let me know. Um, but if you do, drop a like. That always helps. <laughs> uh, any other things? This is something. This is something. The Nets have been willing to trade Lopez all season, but interest has been limited so far. In my opinion, I'm Brook Lopez. I'm getting the hell out of Brooklyn, all right? What are you doing in Brooklyn? You're not winning. I mean, you get paid, but you could do that on a contending team. Some some team is going to want to go after Brook Lopez, surely. He's a decent player, 20 points. I mean, he doesn't rebound. We all know that, but he can shoot the ball. He can even shoot from three now. So, Brook Lopez, 
I'm surprised the team hasn't gone after Brook Lopez, but I guess the only team I can see that's a contender is obviously Golden State. They need a center, they can have Zaza, but Zaza's... Nah, Zaza. No, but seriously, um, Brook Lopez, imagine him on Golden State. It would be over in saying that. Obviously, cap space is a big issue, so they probably can't get Brook Lopez. Um, but all the other title contenders have like cap, uh, have centers. You've got Cleveland. They've got Tristan Thompson. They've got Kevin Love. They don't really need Brook Lopez. You've got the Celtics. They've got Al Horford. They're trying to get them out. I mean, actually, the Celtics is a decent... Because Al Horford can play the four. But in saying that, the Celtics want to go more so after DeMarcus Cousins. This guy, Greg Monroe. Uh, a few months ago, he was on the trade block. And teams were trying to make trades with the Bucks. Nobody agreed to a deal. But ex I think expect to see Monroe traded sooner than later. And traded definitely before the trade deadline. That's my opinion. Let me know down below. Last thing. Alright, this is the last sort of trade talk for today. Nerlens Noel. This guy is getting traded for sure. We don't know who he's going to get traded to. So, that is what I want to get into the next episode. I want to see who who uh, Noel is going to get traded to in you know next week's video. In fact, to be honest, I was thinking about this the other day. Why don't they just trade... Julie Loka for and keep Noel, but I guess it's because Noel, he doesn't want to be in Philly at the moment. Um, and I don't think it's going to change, so we're going to talk about that in the next episode. So if you guys are excited for the next episode, we're going to discuss Noel's Noel, and we're going to discuss some more trade talk, and hopefully some more trades happen in between this episode and next week. I'll catch you guys there. So yeah, if you guys enjoy these types of videos, and you like seeing my ugly face again, then smash that like button, subscribe if you're new. And tell me down below your thoughts on these trade rumors and these trades. Let me know more so on the Carl Corbett trade because that is an amazing trade. In my opinion for Cleveland, you've got J.R. Smith, you've got Kyrie Irving, you've got Carl Corbett, you've got Kevin Love. You've got all these guys that can shoot the ball and you've got LeBron James. I'm just saying, Golden State, look out. It's been your boy Smith and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.